Hey, pinball party fans! Welcome back to another deep dive where we talk in depth about one specific game. This week, Stern's Walking Dead. All right, here we go. Deep dive number, I don't know, what's the guess? Six? Six? Yeah. Is that right? Sure. Well, welcome back to deep dive number six, somewhere between five and 20. And this week we're doing The Walking Dead. Welcome, Zach. How are you? I'm doing fine. A little bit more awake than last time, so hopefully that, that aids the performance, I guess. What's the over under on a thousand milligrams of caffeine in your system right now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I drink a half a pot of coffee and I have kind of an energy drink. So, but, but okay. I mean, <laughs> I was being honest. I, I have a pretty strong just tolerance to caffeine. Well, for those paying attention to our stimulants, I have not yet tried the Ritalin. Maybe next episode. I'm, 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 I haven't, we'll see what happens. Uh, I was maybe looking I for that try. update. I needed that <laughs> update. <laughs> You'll hear it. I'm sure it'll either be like, hello, welcome <laughs> to the pinball party. This is Jason. You know, or it'll be like, you know, if it works. Hello. Welcome to. The- All right. Walking Dead. Let's go. Let's talk about Walking Dead. Zach, you want to give us the facts on Stern's The Walking Dead? Yeah, it came out in 2014. John Borg, Lyman Sheets. Uh, Kevin O'Connor, Greg Ferris, more art direction, I think. Uh, and then uh, it is from a different era, right? So it's a Sam game. There's a pro premium LE, but it's from an era where Sam games kind of, you know, this is like right in the middle of like, you have ACDC, X-Men, Metallica, Star Trek, but then you kind of get some bombs too, right? Like, uh, Mustang and what what else is it? Well, Avengers wasn't good, but at any rate, you know, this is when Stern is starting to hit their stride in the Sam uh, just system, which had been around since around 2006. So this is near the end of Sam, right before you switch to Spike with like uh, WWE, I think is pretty shortly after this. And the biggest differences between those trim models in the pro and the premium LE would be you get, uh, some upgrades on like the well walker with the guts underneath magnet on front, the bicycle girl ramp lifts up and you can hit that sculpt underneath. And then you get the crossbow uh, swing around from the right ramp. And then i um, trying to think here. Well, you get the well walker bombs and the, does um, that have the GI, GI is different. Is that yeah, the GI is different, right? It is. It's controllable in the premium LE and the code that you can't change on the pro. And surprising, well, and, and some of the inserts are RGB as well, which in that game uh-huh. I actually don't think is needed. Um, uh, uh, yeah, uh-huh. it, it just to, I guess, stay on this trim level thing because we'll uh-huh. get into our, our standard critical reception, all that kind of stuff, and I'll try not to go into impressions, but this is a... Uh, not almost like a polarizing, not nearly Black Knight sort of rage, pro versus premium, but some are very adamant on the pro over the premium. Like, oh, the left bicycle girl, girl ramp on the pro or the premium or LE has to lift up. You can disable it, but it has to lift up to reveal a bash toy for the bicycle, a certain mode, I'll say, a hurry up mode kind of in a way. And that right because of that lift up, the ramp is not, quote, as smooth. It varies mm-hmm. from model to model uh, in my experience. And I'll talk about that later, but... The, the the biggest difference between the premium and the LE, aside from that, which probably is, the other are, are minor, and you can actually turn them off as well. Like the well walker magnet, if you don't like it, turn it off. The crossbow, if you mm-hmm. don't like it, turn it off. Bicycle girl ramp, you don't like it, turn it off. But the Only RGB... Only the premium LE the has the fish tank, right? The, the Yes, which is also just right? cosmetic. It's just, yeah, and it but, looks cool. It looks cool. Yeah, it, it does look cool. To me, the biggest difference between these two by a landslide, take all those other things away. It's a great game. The RGB, not the RGB, the actual GI, which when we talked mm-hmm. about Star Wars in the past, really well-coded GI is a, a huge boon to a game, as big of yes. a difference as I think music is. So I'll, I'll talk about yeah. my, my opinions of the trims later, but there's big differences. This one is red, green, white, right? 
the gr- oh god the green i mean there's i think it's the- red green white gi in the premium is that in the pro too now i gotta pull no, up the matrix no the pro is all white in fact a lot of people change uh the lighting in the pro it's not even a notable mod if you will but to enjoy the rest of this episode and more exclusive content please join us at patreon.com slash pinball party what?